Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147. It is Whip and Waffle Day. Uh, so I've uncovered a couple of sections. So let's see how far I can get away with zooming in. So I've uncovered these two. So this is my Sticky part. Oh, I can actually get away. I thought I needed to be up here. <laughs> but I don't. I can get away with a bit further. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I've just realised I need more 762. And it's in the conservatory. I'll be I'm back. Um, I have extras of some of the colours. I did go through and fill up a load of them the other day. But there were three that I couldn't get everything in the pot but obviously I have been using a lot of 762 recently so I'm just going to fill my pot up if you can hear all the ruffling let's fill it up and I've still got a little bit left even after refilling my pot again I've not got lots to do on this one, um, I've not got a load left, but I do have a bit. I've decided to use this month's limited tray, um, which is the purple and silver um, in the zesty size, because that's the only one that we have just a few left of. Um, we don't have many left at all, but we do have a few. And... I'm going to multi-place for a little bit while my multi-placer is playing the game. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody has had an amazing week. Uh, I had a bit of a pamper day yesterday. Uh, my hairdresser's appointment had to be made for a Saturday. Um, my hairdresser works part-time. She works on a Saturday and on a Wednesday evening and normally I go for a Wednesday evening because then I feel as though Saturday is still free for whatever it needs to be free for uh, depending on whether I'm filming, whether we're doing anything, you know, I don't want a hairdresser's appointment to, you know, stop us doing some event when an evening is less likely to have something else going on so I tend to book for an evening but yeah I had to do a Saturday morning uh, and then I spent a little bit of time browsing around town had lunch with the hubby he'd been out helping a friend he met me for lunch and then I had a little browse around our town centre which I feel like I have not done for ages um, before getting my eyebrows done so it ended up being a bit of a pamper day yesterday, but then yesterday evening I was not fit for time of painting or anything. I'd been out of the house since nine o'clock and didn't get in till it was probably half five, six o'clock. I was like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done for the day. Um, but yeah, good day otherwise. So I am filming this on Sunday. Um, on the day not done much so far today had a bit of a chill first part of the morning and then we'll see what the rest of the day brings I'm not actually sure if I'm going to do anything yet I'm unsure right, I've got a diamond in the way that just stops me picking up like two diamonds from a run it's got a couple of twos to fit in and then I'm going to go back with my single placer to get the last I think that's it so I'll go back with my single placer fill in any bits that I've missed and hopefully get them all we shall see but yeah I hope everybody else is having a good weekend do let us know what you're up to this weekend 
Um, I'm going to see how long this whip and chat lasts, mainly dependent on comments, I think. Uh, it's actually the heaven and earth design whip and chat comments that I am extremely behind on at the moment. I don't think, um, because my heaven and earth design is a very structured length of time. Um, yeah, I've ended up, you could say, a bit behind on on the comments on that one because there's quite a few comments with the questions I was asking people's opinion on last week. Okay, let me get, I've got a couple of diamonds in this. This 762 is the worst one for it. Um, and it's not awful, it does, but there is a couple that have, um, like you've got the diamond, but then they have a very thin layer of plastic around the outside. Um, and it sometimes gets stuck in the tray and stops them moving. Right, I'm gonna do this, let us see. I only have three. So I've just tipped them into the lid of my pot because it's not worth tipping them into the tray and back out again for the sake of three. But it is worth it when I have a little bit more to do. Uh, okay, comments, etc. So the cat, this is quite an interesting story, actually, from the cat lady. I can imagine it is extremely, extremely frustrating. Um, but it is definitely something a little bit different. So she said when she got married the first time, uh, her father-in-law was the minister who conducted the service. Uh, he knew me as Tina, but obviously he had to use her full name for the service. Um, and as far as she can remember, he got the full name Christina during the service. Um, so he used her full name. Uh, but it has since come to light that he didn't get it right when entering the details into the register. He put Christine rather than Christina. Uh, she only found out when she went to collect her divorce papers that her name was spelt incorrectly, um, which means she wasn't legally married. Uh, so it was seven years of purgatory, she says, and she wasn't even married. Uh, and that is the part that must be so, so frustrating. Um, you know, to go through all of that and realise that it could have been a lot easier than it was. Just, yeah, just absolutely horrific to have to go through that. Not so bad when you can look back on it later, um, but yeah, she did say she was so annoyed, she said to put it politely. <laughs> So I can imagine the level of frustration that was there was pretty high, um, if it can still be felt now, that's for sure. Right, I've got some ABs. I actually have putty in this pen. Um, I have some with putty in and some with um, glue dots. And when it comes to glue dots I find they are not very gentle on AB diamonds. Putty can be a little bit hit and miss, some are better than others um, and sometimes it depends how long you've had the putty in your pen as well. I've actually had the putty in this multi-placer for quite a while but not as long in the pen tip. It's actually some fresh putty in the pen tip. So I'm gonna see how many I can get in with the multi-placer, and then I'll see what the pen tip's like, but I may need to move over to my wax pen, which I have as well. 
so it does still like to get hold of extra diamonds a bit too much every now and then and I just I knew as soon as I knocked one then it was like that's just gonna pick it up and keep hold of it for far too long doesn't want to let go of all of them I am still just doing vertical at the moment um, I I do occasionally do horizontal placing of ABs but I'm not quite as good at it so <laughs> it's not quite whip and chat standard yet I'm going to see how it goes um, see if I can get a bit better at it yet so that I don't have to think as much before I do it on a whip and chat but we'll go in for the single placer uh, Blossom Chops says if you like the K Scarpetta books by Patricia Cornwall she says try reading Kathy Rikes it, it's a, it's spelled I don't know how it's actually pronounced Rikes Reeks uh, books she says she is a forensic anthropologist anthropologist oh no I'm not even saying that right anthropologist so her writing uh, is from a real perspective she is also the producer behind the series bones um, which is available as tv episodes so yeah i think i may have read a couple of hers before as well um, but it's definitely something i sort of want to revisit so a lot of these that I have read in the past uh, quite a few years ago you know kids were younger so in relation to that you know life was a little, days were a little bit more hazy should we say when the kids were younger um so yeah it'd be good to revisit a few of those now I know there was a couple that I just wasn't keen on the style of writing but I can't say which it was um, or the reason why so I think they're definitely due um, a reread or at least give give them another go and it may be that I prefer the style now compared to what I used to or it may be that I realize yeah I definitely don't like the style but I can tell you why time will tell on that front Right, have I got all those now? I think I have. They're not the straightest, but they're done. So let me change up. Change up my colours again. I think I've just got one letter E. That's all I'm seeing. It looks like where I've divided it up last time, I've ended up with just a couple of small, a couple of sections where really I could have just done with my paper being just a little bit further over but anyway okay letter h i've only got three of those as well so mysterious days she says hey rebecca she says she hasn't commented in a few weeks uh, because her body is getting used to working uh, full time she says leaving it often exhausted at the end of the day I know that feeling that was my feeling yesterday I was just like nah too tired <laughs> too tired to even think uh, just because I had a full day doing something that is different to what I normally do sorry I'm trying to find a symbol and I'm struggling and I don't know why it's not that one where is this symbol? I'm looking for this symbol here. There we go, found it now. Of course, moan about it enough and all of a sudden it will appear. Um, she says she's barely had time to diamond paint throughout the week as much as she wants to. Um, she says, but on Thursday, um, as a late birthday gift of a simple Paris diamond painting for her mum is arriving, uh, so she gets to kit up. She says she also finished a 30 by 40 um, 
blue and purple flower painting uh, that comes with a B. Um, and she's slowly trying to work through her whips. Uh, she says she has it has it down to just a few. She says she thinks that she will work on Monday uh, bath light some Monday mon my words today. Maybe I should have done something else rather than just sit chilling this morning and got my brain going because I'm failing. Um, so she's going to work on moonlight bath. Um, she says, so on next, she says work has been going good. She said it is a long and exhausting days, uh, but she's not used to being so active. She said, so it does make sense as to why she's so tired. Um, she's slowly starting to get into a groove and taking weekends to herself and enjoying them, being lazy. She said her brother is also moving in on Monday. Um, so fingers crossed, she says it all goes well, uh, since he is 20 years older than her. Um, and she doesn't really know him as he's lived in another state for most of her life. Exciting times. It will be good to get to know, know him a bit more. Um, though I'm sure it will be extremely weird to start off with, nonetheless, if you've, I think it'd even be weird for me to live with my brother for an extended period of time, even though um, we grew up together. You just, you live differently when you're on your own, don't you? And you get used to living differently. Um, and you can sort of forget how to live with a sibling because there is nothing there is nothing the same as a sibling relationship um, and each sibling relationship is also often different that's for sure i've stayed at my brother's for a few days or a, you know a few days each time i go over to australia but it's definitely um it's not the same as childhood, mainly because it's his house. <laughs> it's his house initially, um, rather than it being like our parents' house or something. So, yeah, it'll take a bit of getting used to, but it'll be nice. Hopefully it will work out nice for you in the end. Uh, Blossom Chops, she says, uh, another one of her favourite YouTubers um, is Let's Dig 18. It is a young man called Chris Guins, uh, or Gwins, who has his own business using, among other things, a Volvo 220 excavator. Uh, she said she loves watching big boy toys uh, and the skill involved, she said, is absolutely amazing. So there you go. If you like big boys toys, that's another YouTube that you can check out. Uh, I am just going to try and see if I can get the putty in the top of this pen. Um, in the single placer has actually gone down quite a bit. I don't know whether I was using squares with it last time rather than rounds and it sort of formed itself to squares and I feel like I need to add some more but it's also not in this room so I haven't got any in here. It's in the conservatory with all my other gobbins. So maybe I'll take some out with tweezers and pop them back in again, see if I can make sure that it stays sticky for this. Right, have I got all the fours? Because we are going to get to a big batch of multi-placing now with the threes. So hopefully that will end up being a little bit easier. So let's get the fours away. Got a little bit of trash diamonds stuck in there, so I'm just going to 
throw that on the floor slash the bin. Right, number four's done. Okay, let's get number three. Let's try and get myself sorted so this whip and chat doesn't seem quite so bitty. And putty to get out of a multi-placer is not necessarily easy. Uh, it often comes out quite stringy. Some people do say use the old putty to help you get out. So, you know, keep a ball of putty that you've pulled out to help you to get it out. But all I'm trying to do is just sort of freshen up where it is. And we'll see if that works. And let's get my number three. So I want to get as many diamonds as I can straightened up. Then really, I want all the loose ones over in one corner so that I can tap the others down into straight lines. And then hopefully I can multi-place my little heart away and get through some of this a bit quicker. And occasionally I pick up more diamonds than I wanted to, but because I have so much to multi-place, I just decide to put it in a different place. See if I can get that one to squeeze in a bit better. Uh, Tina, she says, hello, Rebecca. She says she has enjoyed this whip and chat, or whip and waffle. Uh, she said she got loads done on her sea turtle from Diamond Art Club. Uh, and she managed to get one of the limited trays on Friday. She said, so she can't wait to use that. She says, thank you as always. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so glad you managed to get one. It is really, a it's a beautiful purple colour um, and the hints of silver um, that you get throughout the tray, I do think really make it pop rather nice. Um, I'm enjoying using it. I I think I did the last whip and chat. Yeah, I did last week's whip and chat. I did on the Friday. Um, my daughter was available. I had the time. She was available to watch Luna. I had the time to do the whip and chat. And I thought I'll do it early because I'll be concentrating, of course, on launch and getting orders out over the weekend. And... I didn't want to use one of the trays for the whip and waffle if they had all sold because quite often it's purple that does um, sell out a lot quicker than any other colours. Um, purple is always a quicker seller and I didn't wasn't quite sure how quick a seller it would be um, so I didn't want to risk using a tray that Basically, it was like, sorry, they're all gone, especially because I couldn't tell you how well they were going or how how risky it was that they would all go. Um, but the large tray did sell out. We actually had more of the large tray than we normally do. Um, and the large tray still managed to sell out. There is a few zesty trays which is this size that I'm using today. There is a few of them left, but not many. Um, they will be gone soon too. Um, and then we'll be moving on to the next exciting limited colours before we hit the big September launch, um, which we are busy, busy, well, we're busy, busy preferring advents, but also preparing things for the big September launch. It's sort of all go here with a mixture, a mixture of things. We are still waiting on the last item for Advent. Hopefully it will be here this week, if not next, um, but we're getting a lot of prep done in the meantime, while we're waiting for that last item to turn up so that it can be full steam ahead with everything. And then it will get really crazy around here. Megan has broken up from school. Um, she is doing a little bit of classroom work next week, um, helping teachers to prepare their classrooms for next for September. 
um, the teachers want to get it done sort of at the beginning of the summer holidays so that they can then switch off completely and move on from there and, and enjoy their holidays without thinking they still have work to do. Plus, you never know how long a classroom, you know, deep sort out and straighten up and, you know, getting set up for the next year. You never quite know how long it can take. It's like with any project that involves, you know, a deep sort out. How long is it going to take? How long is a piece of string? Who knows? So they do want to get that done at the beginning of the holidays and then they know how much time they have left to um, get in their own, own jobs and chores and catch up of everything as well as the chill time all mixed in with it. Um, so yeah. Uh, Jeanette says, hi, Rebecca. She says, you're making nice progress on your painting. Thank you. This one is getting somewhere. Uh, I don't think I've actually done any on this one in the last week. I've not had as many days where I can diamond paint in the last week. It varies from week to week. Um, sometimes, you know, depending on stuff that's going on, I've just ended up picking up one diamond instead of two. Um, sometimes depending on stuff that's going on in the background, sometimes just depending on my energy levels. And if frankly, I'm just too tired <laughs> to, to be diamond painting loads in the evening. And then part of it is of course down to my um, decision wheel that chooses what diamond painting I'm doing each evening. Um, but it's not that far off being done. Um, she said, and she's a happy-go-lucky girl as she has pre-ordered her advent calendar. Awesome. So pre-orders, we have now officially, definitely, um, we will be updating social media with it soon. Um, but of the total stock for advent that we have, we have sold more than half of the total stock. Um, twenty percent of the total stock has been put aside um, for September for those that don't like pre-order. Um, because there are people that don't like pre-order, whether there's a deal or not. So even though we have an offer on pre-order, there are people that don't like to do them, which is completely fine. Um, and we want to make sure that we have stock available for those people as well as everybody else. So 80% of the stock went up as available for pre-order. Um, and of the total stock, over 50% has gone um, on pre-orders. And then we still have some stock left on pre-orders, but of course it's gone down quite a bit. I don't know what percentage it would work out at, about 30% maybe? Ish, less than 30% is still available for pre-order. There was 80% originally. Um, but yeah, if you want to pre-order the advent calendar, it will. the pre-order will be open until the end of August or until all the stock has gone, whichever is first, but we will keep you update when, especially when the numbers get down to single figures. Uh, the website does let you know when there's only like five left and things like that. Um, so we, yeah, we'll be keeping it open until the end of August. And up until then we do offer free shipping on the advent up until the end of August uh, and they will start shipping in September. We may end up having to start shipping some a little bit earlier um, in, in August uh, but we will be shipping out advent orders in the order in which they were placed along with of course any other goodies that you ordered at the same time. Anything ordered with the advent will ship at the same time as the advent um, but you do get charged shipping on any items ordered at the same time. It's only the advent that's free shipping. 
Uh, we just don't have the ability to sort of dispatch orders twice or split the inventory to say, okay, we've shipped this, here's your tracking if, if needed, um, and then say, okay, we've shipped this, here's the information for this one. Um, so quite often what you'll find is when they do ship, we will actually be sending you an email to say, it's been shipped in two parcels, here's tracking for one, here's tracking for another, if tracking is something that you do. Or if it's via Royal Mail, you'll just get two emails from Royal Mail saying that your order's been shipped. But yeah, we just don't have the ability to split things. Um, and it's it's already very admin heavy offering pre-orders, um, which we're happy to do. And we know why people wanted them, especially after last year. Um, but to try and ship orders in bits is three times the work admin wise and there's just too many orders for it so we have made it clear since the beginning that all items will ship together um, but yeah it'll be fun when we get to start getting those shipped out I'm quite excited to start shipping out advents and start sending shipping notifications to people and you all need to find somewhere to be able to stash your advent until the beginning of December whether you get a friend to look after it whether you hide it somewhere um, just don't forget where you've hidden it unless you hide it somewhere um, to keep it aside till the beginning of December um, Jess, she says, wow, she says that painting looks amazing. Thank you, Jess. It is coming along really nicely. Uh, and I'm itching to see what the whole thing looks like. But I'm also determined not to uh, unravel it until I have fully finished. Uh, she says she loves seeing buildings rendered in diamond paintings. Uh, she says as, the, as she listens to this whip and waffle, she is working on the very last common column, sorry, see, words, of um, Spandler's Train of Dreams. Uh, she said such a fun one to work on. Uh, and it was a breeze with all the colour blocking in rounds. Uh, she says she thinks when she's finished, she will dive into a Chuck Pinson. Um, she is craving some confetti landscape action. <laughs> I have, yeah, this one is actually, it's fairly, well, actually, it's probably just a mixture of both. There is quite a few places where it's fairly blocky, uh, like I've done quite a bit of, I suppose, multi-placing already on this one uh, for some big blocky sections. But then you get some sections very much like this bit over here, the trees, the plants and things. So these bits that are a lot more confetti. It's a nice mixture. I am enjoying it being a nice mixture. Um, but yeah, I do like the fact that I am mixing up a few different paintings in my stash to do, because I do have some that are definitely a lot more confetti than others. My other large painting that I've kitted up is very much confetti, that's for sure. Ooh. I was going to try and pick up a second diamond because it only picked up one and then I thought well, let's just fill that hole first. Right have I got any more sixes? No I think I'm done with sixes as well. Um, Lady Dax she says hi Rebecca she says if you are going to kit up one of the paintings with 190 plus colours she said here is her tip for me in relation to it because she's currently doing one. She said she kitted hers up in colours um, as was advised but she is really struggling with it. 
uh, being in colours. Um, she said she is sure that she has placed a few colours in correctly, um, in the wrong place. So she's rearranged her pots into the usual symbol order. Um, she says she knows that I usually kit up the same way as her. So we both normally kit up the same way in relation to symbols, etc. Um, she says, so now they're all the same similar symbols together. She says, regardless of colour. Um, and she says it is more than halved the time it takes her to do a section because she's doing it the way she's used to doing it, which does make sense to me. Once you get into a rhythm, to try and change your rhythm can actually be a lot more work. And unless you're going to change your rhythm going forward for everything, like if you were going to change it to kit everything up by colour, it would be worth persevering. But if you're only doing it for one painting, I get that it's probably not worth it. Um, she says she thinks for her it was a case of best sticking to what she knows. Uh, she says yes, she has a lovely new big table. She got she's blaming Diamond Art Studio for her purchasing a new big table. And yeah, I agree. If you can blame Diamond Art Studio for it, do it. <laughs> Uh, she says she's had a, D, a diamond painting companion working alongside her this weekend. She said P Jelly is finally back to doing her three smaller whips. She said it's been amazing. She also said that her chair is so comfortable uh, and she said it came from Amazon, by the way. I do love her chair. Um, I have two dining table chairs. Well, it came with four for our dining table, um, but two always get in the way. So basically we, we ditch two upstairs and we just use the four. And, but her chair is gorgeous and I am so, so tempted to replace them. I just don't know if it will work as well because our table is actually quite high, uh, which works perfect with the dining chairs. It's just whether it would work with the rolling chair. I might have to see though because they are absolutely stunning. It is a stunning chair. So nice. It's, a, it's like a bucket seat type chair. It looks so comfy. Um, so yeah, I might have to look that up. We shall see. I wonder if I could put that as a business expense. Yeah, I'm sat at it most of the time when it comes to doing work stuff, so maybe I could get away with it. Um, Bev, she says, hello everywhere, everyone. She says, thank you, Rebecca, for a mammoth whip and waffle. It did work out to be a mammoth one. I'm not sure how this one's going to work out, though it's going a great storm at the moment. Uh, I just managed to pick up three diamonds then instead of four. So I was trying to find somewhere that I could fit three. This is where it can get fun. It can get like a little mini jigsaw. Trying to find where you can put three diamonds instead of four when you accidentally pick up the wrong amount and can't be bothered going back to add another diamond to it. Um, she says when her cousin uh, was four, her twin brother and sister were born. Uh, she said, and she really wasn't happy about it. Uh, so she got to pick her sister's name uh, and apparently she chose Rebecca. Uh, she says this was when her uncle, thing is, she says when her uncle went to register the names, he got mixed up and put Rachel. See, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But anyway, um, she said one of her daughter's middle names. Uh, she said because she hasn't got a middle name, so she gave her daughter two. She said it's Rebecca, uh, but it is spelt differently. So she, her daughter's name is spelt with K-A-H at the end, which is uh, another way of spelling Rebecca. 
she says, take care, everyone, she says, and she hopes that we have a lovely week. And she also says, P.S. Why do I only spot the mistakes after I hit send? Um, because that's normal practice. I only ever spot mistakes on posts I do on Facebook, replies to people after I've hit send. Uh, more often than not, for me, it's it's completely the wrong word. So it's as though my brain looks for spelling mistakes, <coughs> doesn't see any hit send, and then reads it back and goes, that doesn't make sense. I've used completely the wrong word in that one. Um, but yeah, it's it's just cool. it's just a trait of technology. It's a technology trait. Um, I'm sure they words look different once they're posted compared to when you write them down, and quite often compared to when they're in your head as well. It can sometimes be very hard to convey, in effect, a tone or the way you're writing something in words on the internet. Um, and make sure that it, it sounds how you mean rather than it being taken wrong. So, yeah, we all do that. We all do it. Um, Kim says in earlier Whip and Waffles, she said you mentioned working outside of the home. Um, she said, has your diamond painting shop and YouTube videos uh, allowed you to quit your outside job? job? and concentrate solely on your diamond painting. Um, yes, it has, which is absolutely fantastic. It has been, if it's not exactly a year, it's very close to being a year. Like this, there may be one or two days in it being a year. I can't remember the exact date I left work. Um, I was working from home from COVID. Uh, in fact, the team, uh, the team and the company that I used to work for are still primarily working at home. Um, I think they have, they ask them to go into the office once a month um, is what they like people to go in for once a month um, to have a day in the office, but they are working from home still. Um, so I was working from home with my job since COVID, but I was able to give up my job about a year ago, um, which has been absolutely amazing. And I do thank every single one of you for the chance for me to be able to do that, both YouTube and the shop. Um, your support is what helps that to happen. Um, but yeah, I have no idea how I would have got through this last year and got everything done that I wanted to do for the business if I'd still been working. <coughs> um, I don't think it would have been feasible to do everything. The amount of advent calendars that we've been able to offer this year as well would not have been, we wouldn't have been able to do the sort of numbers that we've done. Uh, we've gone on what we think is well over the amount of advents that we'll sell um, they're the numbers we've gone for. Um, but yeah, you're still like surpassing what what we think that we would would have sold. You're still surpassing that already. So there's still a lot of time till December. They could definitely go yet, <laughs> and you could surprise us all all over again. Um, but yeah, I'm very blessed. I am able to. Um, Laura uh, Laura says she doesn't mind Abby's putty she says but sometimes she finds it a bit unwieldy um, she says she's used the other potty that I unboxed uh, more and more recently from Crafty Cat um, and she says it's a bit less gummy she says and it stays in place better in the pen uh, she says it also works really well with ABs, um, as long as it's not super fresh. 
See, I found a mixture. I found it can really depend. So I think I've got Abby's putty in my multi-placer. Um, and I found it's better in a multi-placer. In the single placer, I, I, there is a little bit of difference between the two. Um, Cat's probably is a little bit nicer in the single placer. Um, but I find it needs changing more often. So, yeah, I found it very much a bit of tit for tat between the two of them. Um, yeah, and it's just a lot of the time it just depends which one I grab first. <laughs> but I do like them both. Um, but I still love my glue dot, I will say. I still very much use my glue dot primarily. I think I just tend to put putty in the ones that I have putty in the multi-placer until I try glue dots in the multi-placer which you guys keep buying all the glue strips so I'm very low on stock on the glue strips I've just put another big order in and um, so hopefully when that comes in I'll be able to try them out because I don't want to wipe out the shop of them if somebody wants them so yeah, I will be trying glue strips in a multi-placer when my restocks arrive. But it's not my quickest supplier for restocks. Even though they're UK based, they're not the quickest to restock. They're not major slow, but they're not like next day. It's not like I know they'll be here on Monday, so I can let myself try the glue dots. Um, it could be end of the week, beginning of next week before I get them. So I tend to err on the side of caution when it comes to that. And yeah, uh, I will be trying glue strips in a multi-placer and hopefully um, they'll work amazing as well. And then I might just have a mixture in different pens because I think sometimes it can actually take months to figure out which one you truly like best. Um, but yeah, single placer wise, I do still favour a glue dot, I will say. But multi placer at the moment, I'm finding um, the putty really nice. Uh, Amy says she keeps her dirty, dirty putty in a ball on her easel, which then helps her to pull out any that she needs to change. Um, when I changed it the other day, I was able to get it out with tweezers. It was just a bit more, a bit more fiddly um, than it is a glue dot because the glue dot just tends to stay connected and you just keep pulling and eventually the whole thing will come out. Whereas putty does tend to come out in pieces. Uh, jo, she says, thank you for that generous offer. She said to hold my orders if needed. Uh, more than happy to, Jo. Um, she says she really appreciates it. She says, thank you for the great waffle and the company. Uh, she says as she works on her current whip as well. Uh, she said it was one of the kits that she was supposed to take with her, uh, but she thinks that she'll be able to finish it before she leaves, uh, especially since the trip might be a little bit delayed. You've got to love corporate getting themselves set up, don't you? Everything seems to be mad rush, go, go, go. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, let's just slow down a bit. And then the next thing you know, they'll turn around and it will be all go, go, go again. I don't know. I don't know. Things sometimes, I think, just are filtered down with a sense of urgency. And then all of a sudden it's not as urgent as they said it was. Gotta love corporate for that. Um, okay, let's have a look. I'm trying to, this is where I now end up with heaven and earth design posts as well as whip and chat posts. So I'm just filtering out between the two. I think I am going to fill in just some of these little bits down here though so I don't lose them. Um, Nancy, she says, lovely canvas. She says, and it has worked up so well. She said she is finishing up a Chuck Pinson uh, and have a group of seven, uh, which is a Canadian style painting. She says, once these two are done, 
Um, she plans to do a Dreamers Designs Christmas uh, in August canvas. Um, she has not done a uh, Diamond Dreamer Designs, sorry, DD in quite a while, uh, and she is looking forward to seeing what their new canvas and drills are like. Yes, I did an unboxing on it, and I am really happy with the drills and the canvas. Uh, of course, I've not yet worked on one. She said, Thank you for the video. Um, so she says, thanks for the video. She says, have a great week and good luck with your upcoming administrative tasks. <laughs> yes, I actually printed off and sorted out the advent orders the other day. And there is, that you should, it, it's practically a full ream of paper, if not exactly a full ream of paper that we have printed off for the advent orders. Um, but yeah, I was trying to get those all sorted out, make sure they were all in order so that they could go out first. One of many different admin jobs, but um, I got all the paperwork done for submitting the end of year books as well with the accountant the other day. So at least that'll be boxed off soon and I can get on with everything else. I said to her, I said, Is, are you doing my book so early? Because she's, she's moving, you see, she'll be moving soon and they have a little bit of renovation work to do. So I did say to her, I said, are you doing my books early? You know, trying to get quite a few books early done so that you can, um, you know, get stuck into the renovation. And she's like, yeah, there's a little bit of that, she said, but I knew you'd be ready. <laughs> and she said, I knew you'd have all the stuff I needed and be ready. So I was like, OK, fair enough. I'll take that. Um, it's all fine by me, you know, as long as they are submitted and they're submitted on time. Uh, I tend to work around the accountant um, and we have about six months to submit them. Who's, who says we can't submit them in the first month? As long as they're done, that is the main thing. Um, because I don't want things like that biting me later on. Um, Jen Jam says she is grabbing a chip butty right now she said chip butty is so good uh Alyssa, she says hello she says on the topic of names uh she said her name frequently gets mispronounced she says you have always pronounced it correctly she said so thank you and now I'm hoping that I did pronounce it right this time, but I can't remember what I pronounced it as last time. So hopefully it's still right. Um, she says, many people pronounce it as to where the Y sounds either like an I or an E. So, oh, so it's like Ailsa, I'm guessing, rather than Alyssa. Um, Eliza, maybe? Eliza? I don't know. Hopefully I've still pronounced it right and not pronounced it wrong when I've said Alyssa. Um, she says what often she says she gets is when she answers the phone at work and she says, Alyssa speaking, how can I help you? She often gets, hi Josie. And she's like, what? Where on earth did you get that from? Uh, she said her last name, Farmer, gets misspelled and mispronounced. Uh, and to those people, I think they need to go back to elementary school. She says, have a wonderful day and thank you for all the videos. <laughs> I think people just don't read things as they go along. I mean, my surname is Warburton. It, that is the, the name of a brand of a loaf of bread in our country. Warburton's bread. It is written in big, huge letters on the side of every single bread packet. And yet, they spell it wrong all the time. All the time. So, yeah. I had to return something to a shop the other day. And it's one of these shops that now sends you the receipts via email. Uh, and my email, my standard email for all this sort of stuff, has my surname in it. 
So I had to go in to say, sorry, I've not got the email through. Checked my spam, checked my junk, checked everything. I don't have the email through. Um, can you find it? I can tell you when I bought it. I can give you a rough time when I bought it. And they looked it up and they had. They'd spelt my name wrong. They'd put two R's in it. Two R's in Warburton. Why? I don't even say it with an R rolling off on my... Oh, I've got more. Uh, I don't even say it with an R rolling off on my tongue. So it's not like I roll my R and they think it has two. Anyway, each to their own. Uh, right, last comment for today. And I actually am caught up with the comments. This one was actually only left yesterday. Um, but Sarah says, hi, Rebecca. She says she's sorry. She is a bit behind on my whip and waffles. That's fine. They will be there for you to catch up in your own time. Uh, she said she just wanted to pop into the comments and thank you for answering her question in relation to a chippy tea, uh, a chips and bread meal. She says that is amazing and she is jealous. She says she is pretty sure that if she tried to have what amounts to a steak fries sandwich around here, she says she would get some pretty crazy looks. She says she definitely needs to get herself over to England so that she can try some of our local culinary delights. She says, thanks as always for another great video. It makes me laugh when people think a chip or say a chip butty is a culinary delight because a chip butty is your bog standard cheats tea or dinner cheat cheat tea cheat dinner lunch you know you'll grab a chip butty while walking on the seafront on holiday like it's it can be as common as a bacon sandwich it's a proper cheat anyway right i have yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So sort of more of a standard whip and waffle we are back on now. Um, I've got quite a bit done of this section. I do still have quite a bit to do here, uh, but I didn't want to just, I probably could have got away with just one, um, but I didn't want to just uncover one and not be able to get through all the questions. So I will get this finished off probably when I sit down later on this evening and we'll see whether I'm on to the last sections or whether I still need to do this come next week. But thank you all so much for your comments, for being here. Sorry for not being able to work out my words today. That'll teach me to not do anything before doing a whip and waffle. It's as though my brain hadn't woken up properly, but hopefully it's woken up now. But anyway, have an amazing Sunday. Thank you all for being here and I'll speak to you all again soon.